Hello my loves, how are you doing today? I hope that you're good, that your family and your loved ones are healthy, happy and safe. So I'm coming back to you today with another pick a card reading. And in this reading, we're going to look into how close are you to meeting your future spouse. So we have in front of us three options to choose from. You can pick one option or more, the ones that are going to be pulling your attention the most. And of course, if you would need more time, you can just pause the video, meditate on those uh, pictures and see which one or which ones are going to be today yours to watch. As for me, I'm going to start right away with the first option. Hello, my dear option number one. So if you have chosen the first picture, welcome guys to your reading. So let's look into how close are you to meeting your future spouse? So let's get some messages first. So what I have heard is close enough to touch. This person is about to enter your life. If not, it might be the case that you already know them. You already know of them. You have met them. This is someone that is not uh, unfamiliar. It, it, it could be that this person, they have a connection with a friend, with a colleague, with a family member. This is someone that is close to you, someone that you have a connection in common with. So this is really someone that is you're about to know or to connect with, uh, especially if you have no idea when it comes to this person that uh, <clears throat> I'm talking about. But generally speaking, I feel like it's going to be a matter, I'm hearing for some of you, a matter of days or a matter of months, but I'm not seeing like uh, 10 months or so. I'm really seeing that it is very, 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 very close. It could be like uh, maximum, I'm hearing maximum four months. So it, this meeting is really close, really close. And I'm hearing in here that uh, the only thing that is needed from you is right now to move on from some sort of a disappointment. It could be something that is a, that has a connection with maybe some sort of an aspect of your life. Maybe you feel like you are missing out when it comes to your love life or when it comes to maybe your career. And there is a need for you to have a restart. I'm hearing uh, train your mind at this particular moment to really know for sure that everything right now that you're going to be going through is exactly how it's supposed to be and exactly how it was meant to be for you and uh, almost like have a fresh start I'm hearing and I'm hearing also for some of you that if you have implemented some changes and the strongest changes and the most um the uh, impactful is those that uh, happen within us. So if you have been working on yourself or if you have been uh, reflecting on certain behaviors or certain beliefs that you had and if you implemented a lot of changes uh, in regards to those things, I feel like right now uh, it's almost like you are in a, um, some sort of uh, a place that is transitional. It's almost like there is the energy of what you have experienced in the energy of what's coming and i feel like you are right now almost in the in-between state in moving on to something that you have never experienced before i really feel like very strongly that you need to reflect on the starting point of something like this uh, period, this phase, this era of, of your life that you're really going to remember because there is a great shift that is happening around you at this particular moment. It's going to be permitting you to experience life in a very different way, meet new people, uh, connect with uh, a lot of different um, people maybe that you haven't really connected with in the past, have new experiences. I really feel like there is some sort of a separation between what you've known in the past and what you have experienced and what's coming up next. So let's let's get some cards. So we already know that it is very close, but we, we need to get more messages to just understand what is going on right now and what do you need to keep in mind. So we have the world, yeah. It's a brand new phase. And the world is the last card in the major arcana. And this is exactly what I'm telling you. This woman, she's almost in the midst of like um, going through a portal. And this is really what I see for you. I see that uh, uh, experiences, people, new things are um, almost awaiting you on the other side, 
on this side of uh, I'm hearing that really you have worked on what matters for some of you, you have uh, completely changed maybe the way to, you see things or maybe even like your vibration I feel like there is a big shift and a big transition from a place where you have been or you have known or you have felt like certain things over and over again you have been in, in a in never ender cycle and now it's like a, a like a closure like right now there is a closure happening so this is really just to reassure yourself that if you see things shifting or transforming around you uh, to understand what is going on and to understand that you really have touched certain things that are deep within you and they have also like a great impact of what is gonna happen to you it's almost like you have been in some sort of a path and right now you are taking a left or a right and everything is gonna change like the um everything this is really what i'm hearing so with this world card yes you are uh, almost like going through some sort of a huge transition in your life so you're going to experience many different things, not only when it comes to meeting this person and uh, also connecting with a lot of different people, but also with this Four of Swords. I feel like uh, this new phase, it's going to be permitting you also to heal and to let go of maybe certain uh, fears, certain worries. I really feel like there is a memory that is uh, like you have a memory that reminds you of things maybe going south or things uh, that are not going to work in the way that uh, it's going to be good for you. But this phase is going to be almost reassuring you and um, fixating in your mind that everything is going to be all right everything is going to be fine everything is going to be good and great also for when it comes to what you want to experience in this lifetime <clears throat> page of swords uh, the advice that is coming up here is for you to be curious when it comes to the things that are going to be uh, coming towards you it could be people approaching you it, it could be getting invitations it could be maybe stumbling upon some sort of an information that you might feel like it's very interesting take those inspirations and do something with it because i feel like there is a lot of information that is going to be coming towards you in this particular phase so that you can go through this transition in a very easy in a very light-hearted way Yeah, look at that, the death card, but let's get to Ten of Swords. Yeah, wrapping up a chapter that wasn't easy, and this is something very clear. This chapter was, maybe you have witnessed, and um, yeah, again, ten of, the ten of Wands and Ten of Swords. You are carrying burdens of experiences that you've had in the past, and this uh, new phase, it's all about you hitting your heart, you allowing yourself to open up again, to allow this curious side for you to flourish and not to uh, push it down or repress it, because I feel like when it comes to you, most particularly, you are a very curious person by nature, and sometimes in our life, we understand that certain traits of characters, they're not really good for us, or maybe we start repressing certain parts of us that are very natural and this is really just to uh, let you know that this curiosity is going to be taking you far to places that you have never imagined in the past that you're going to be uh, traveling to that you're going to be uh, maybe reaching even like um, uh, when it comes to how you perceive yourself maybe when it comes to uh, how you perceive your world I really feel like a lot of things really are happening here and with this ten of sword ten of wands there is a baggage that you're gonna let go of and this phase it's really going to be helping you to let go of the baggage that is not serving you anymore and it's the reason why I'm telling you that, that is that there are certain experiences that are going to be um, maybe almost um, strengthening the idea that as much as there is uh, the bad in this world or maybe there are certain people maybe that behave in a certain way there are also people that are very good that wants the best for us as much as they want the best for themselves or for other people and this is really a good and great experience for you not only to see or maybe to reassure yourself maybe through maybe affirmations or through maybe working on yourself on your own but to witness to live to feel to see all the kind of positive experiences that are going to be allowing you to heal what's uh, happened in the past and to move on to this new cycle. So let's get some messages right now about the actual meeting. <clears throat> so I feel like the energy of this person is almost like already in your energy field or there is something that is already in motion when it comes to you to meeting. 
but let's get some messages right now when it comes to actually your first physical meeting we have victory in reverse possibilities verdict dream and health so what i see in here is that someone is going to be helping the other person with something it could be something that is uh, as simple as maybe uh, someone dropping something and then the other person is going to be helping them but i'm hearing in here with this um crossroad this is something that is very unexpected and also with this dream it's almost like coming out of nowhere so when it comes to this particular option this particular person they might also uh, maybe help you with something maybe to regain something maybe that you have lost or if you have any sort of an issue maybe uh, it could be something as simple as i have told you as maybe dropping something and then this person they're gonna help you but uh, i feel like also when it comes to this particular person uh, you're gonna discover afterwards not right away but you're gonna discover afterwards that there is some sort of a connection that you have with this person already it could be uh also i'm hearing with this with those two cards that maybe when you're gonna start talking with each other you're gonna discover as an example that maybe this person they live in your same neighborhood and you have never met them or maybe they are in your like uh, somewhere that is very close or they know someone that you know and you have never really had the opportunity to meet them before so this is really what I see. I feel like there is some sort of a serendipitous circumstances in which you're going to be meeting. But more specifically with those two cards, I really feel like there is something that is going to be restored, I'm hearing. So something, again, that maybe you're going to lose, something that you're going to be, uh, like, it could be even like stumbling and maybe um, if you are going to be maybe having dinner or something and maybe dropping your drink, it could be anything really. But there is someone that is going to be helping the other person maybe to get something done or maybe to just restore something that have been lost so let's get some more cards page of swords yeah seven of cups again with the seven of cups it's really something that is going to be almost Again, it's a meeting that is going to come out of nowhere. Just you doing your, the things that you do uh, like uh, in your everyday life. This is not something that you're going to be looking for or searching for. But it's just a communication that is going to be sparked when you're going to be the least expecting it. So at this this is the energy of something that is really coming out of the blue you're not going to expect this meeting again with this moon card which is all about mystery i feel like really um I'm hearing also with this 4-4, four, four, you're going to be, when you're going to be meeting this person, you're going to be um, having this idea that uh, it was a good thing that you have met or when you uh, that you're going to meet at this particular time. I feel like uh, there has been a lot of changes, as I have told you earlier, and you're going to be, both of you are going to be ready to, uh, again, with this number four, 44, you're going to be ready for something worth having. You're going to be ready for this actual relationship. It's almost like you have been preparing yourself directly or indirectly or maybe through life experiences. But this is really a relationship that you're going to be ready to welcome into your life. Anything else, please, when it comes to your first meeting? Courage. You are safe. Fear is an illusion. Set strong boundaries. Miracles. Have faith that your miracle is on its way. Your prayers have been answered. Surrender the how. Uh, absolutely. I have been asking like over and over again how you're actually going to meet and also trying to get more details but in here it says very clearly surrender the how this is a very unexpected meeting and also i feel like with this miracles you're gonna feel like this is exactly the right time or the right circumstances in which i would love to have met my partner and this is what is going to happen i really feel like also with this courage this is some sort of um it says in here you are safe some sort of um uh like help uh, someone giving a hand to another person again as you can see in here with this page 
with this page of swords and you can see in here with this uh, woman she's having a sword by her side i really feel like in here this person it uh, if you are telling yourself or maybe uh thinking that um maybe you have you are very reluctant into maybe starting to talk to people or if you're someone with very strong boundaries or you just like own your defenses when it comes to meeting people for the first time i'm hearing in here with those two cards because you can see in here with this card there is this sword that is upright in this sword that is um almost like hidden from this uh, unicorn i feel like it's gonna be very very easy for the both of you to actually start a conversation and to just start talking there is again this feeling of familiarity this feeling of just allowing yourself to converse and to share with this person and this is really some sort of a connection that it's not gonna take effort not that relationships are not gonna, uh, do not take effort all relationships or kind of connections they require some effort from both sides but this is not uh, the kind of relationship that you're gonna feel like uh, there is a need for the both of you to uh, almost make it happen or to force it this is a very very natural and flowing kind of uh, relationship anything else please is, um, anything else please when it comes to your meeting or when it comes to uh, any dates anything please Scorpio heal the wounds again this kind of um, this relationship really is going to be permitting you to heal something that you have been suffering from especially your heart the heart like things that are connected to your heart space there is great healing to expect out of this relationship and out of the people that you're going to be meeting next let me just see what it says in here so it says get creative and make a mark and in here it's tuesday so you maybe you may meet on a tuesday but what i'm getting out of this card is number three uh, uh, which indicates for me like the month of march or august like whatever um, like either um, like those months but again uh, it's a matter of months and again with this number 44 i'm hearing like a maximum like of four months so like the closest months uh the closest month uh, either march or august it's gonna be when you're gonna be meeting this person but also with this get creative and make a mark i really feel like uh, also with this number three number three is a very creative um number and also i'm hearing a lot of action coming out of this card so maybe you're going to be opening yourself to a lot of different possibilities and definitely i feel like there is going to be i'm hearing demand people are going to demand your attention your time uh, people telling you like how about uh, maybe doing something this weekend i feel like really people are really going to be around wanting to be around you wanting to invite you to do to do fun things and uh, generally speaking also with those three cards i feel a lot of lightness out of this particular um period that you're going to be in uh, just you starting to enjoy yourself or maybe to just enjoy uh, some good company some things that you love doing with other people maybe that might share your same interests all right so that was your reading my dears i'm wishing you all the best sending you lots of love and i will connect with you next time bye <laughs>
develop. Uh, for some of us, sometimes we need to find something to let go of something else of, of what we have. But in this particular case, uh, I'm hearing also there is no rush. So make things right for you, first and foremost, and also for others. If there is any th kind of connection that you feel like it's not for you, then maybe there is a need for you to actually uh, address this particular thing. And for those of you, as an example, that have been in a relationship and it did not end well, or maybe you have been disappointed, I really feel like it's it's very important for you to take time to let go. It it could be of an actual partner, or maybe certain imprint, like certain. Um, I'm hearing residue of some sort of a relationship that you have been in in the past. So uh, take your time. This is really what I'm hearing. Don't feel rushed because I'm hearing for you more specifically when it comes to meeting with this person. There is no rush. All that matters for you at this particular moment is to start over or maybe to just allow yourself to let go of certain emotions that are not uh, really conducive in you having a long-term connection on uh, a good start. And also if you are with someone um, sometimes again uh, I would like to emphasize on the fact that sometimes uh, we feel the need to grab on something uh, before getting into something else that we actually want but your spirit guides are really asking you to uh, to be honest with yourself if it's not something that you want then there is a need for you to uh, be firm and make a decision so let's get some cards right now how close are you to meeting your future spouse? Page of Cups. The Empress, yes. I really feel like the energy right now uh, that you have, yeah. Uh, I'm hearing that you are extending your energy maybe to other people or maybe to other things that uh, are not going to be around you for the long run anyways. It could be maybe connections that you have other than romantic even. It could be like friendships or uh, maybe some sort of project that you feel very much connected to. But if you were to have maybe some sort of a larger perspective, you would know that maybe three years from now, this particular thing that you are investing so much energy on, or maybe this particular relationship, friendship, connection that you are investing so much on, it's not going to be around anymore. And there is a need for you to actually focus this energy on yourself, focus in, uh, this energy of maybe replenishing yourself. I really feel like there is an energy of overextension, of maybe giving too much of your energy on things that are not going to be... Uh, at least that don't have the potential for growth. Uh, it could be also that for some of you that have a crush on someone and you know that things are not going to go in anywhere, it's time for you to redirect this focus that you have on another person or other people or maybe projects that are not growing and redirect it towards yourself, towards replenishing yourself, towards maybe taking care of... It could be taking care of yourself in any shape or form. It could be even maybe... Um, like expressing yourself in a creative manner it could be like for some of you that are into pottery that are into painting that are into writing whatever the case might be any sorts of a creative conduit of expression it's going to be very important and very beneficial for you especially emotionally speaking so let's get two more cards how close are you to meeting your spouse six of pentacles if you give yourself I'm hearing give yourself more, uh, let people be who they are. Uh, I'm hearing in here with those two cards, there is nothing that is going to be proven to someone else that you are worth having, that you are worth being around. There is nothing that is that's, that is going to do that. The only thing that is going to be serving you is if you were to direct this energy towards yourself and to um, like work on things that are important to you um, again uh, in here with the six of pentacles the more that you focus on maybe uh, restoring maybe some sort of um, uh, I'm hearing a new image that you have been working on or maybe a new way of uh, looking at yourself I really feel like I'm hearing especially when it comes to your appearance you have been working towards maybe a specific image or maybe a specific way of being and in here I'm feeling like it's not uh, for some of you maybe you have some sort of um, an idea that this is superficial or you have a certain resistance maybe to take care of your appearance but this is really uh, it, I'm hearing it's not that you are becoming someone else it's it's 
like the uh, the idea maybe the message that is coming out of those cards is that you are coming back to yourself you were someone that took care of yourself that really were uh, very keen into um, beautifying yourself in the way that f feels good to you it really makes you feel good and i'm hearing in here the only thing that matters uh, is is for you to follow this need or maybe this desire that you have maybe to wear certain things that you like or to take care of your hair take care of your anything really that has a connection with your appearance because it is not superficial it's just like something that you desire and something that uh, is going to bring you back to who you truly are so again there is uh, this number six six i really feel like number six is very significant so for some of you, it could be uh, the year 2026 is going to be significant for others. It could be uh, number six, generally speaking, in the month of June. Um, I'm hearing even for some of you, we are right now, I'm going to be posting this reading in the, um, uh, in the, um, yeah, uh, in the uh, 30th of um, November, uh, 2022. So it could be even 2022 for some of you. So the only thing that matters for you right now is to redirect your energy towards yourself. Focus on yourself a little bit more and don't feel like it is coming from ego. It is not. It's coming uh, for you to restore balance in terms of how you perceive yourself and in terms of uh, maybe allowing this energy of ease, uh, like when it comes to doing the things that make you feel happy, that make you feel relaxed. And again, I feel like the thing that is really going to be helping you through this process is to allow yourself to um, practice any kind of activity or any kind of creative endeavor that is going to be permitting you to uh, express yourself. Uh, I'm hearing self-expression in a creative way like uh, some sort of a space that you have just on your own doing your own thing and just relaxing i, I really feel like it it's going to be very beneficial for you so let's get some cards right now when it comes to your actual meeting family failure um in here with those two cards um Uh, please, I'm, I'm hearing, uh, take a moment and reflect on the relationships that more specifically women have been in, in uh, your family. So um, if you are, it depends on your uh, gender or maybe uh, the gender in your family, especially when it comes to your parents, that you feel the closest to. Uh, I'm hearing um, there is some sort of an idea that you have around the relationships that uh, came about or this information really it was a conclusion from some sort of relationships that you have witnessed or your life it could be on when it comes to your parents but also extended family it could be like uncles and aunts and so on and so forth and uh, I feel like when it comes to you there is a need uh, there there is going to be uh, as you can see in here all those people that are stuck on this particular tree but when it comes to you you are you are sitting beneath it but at any point in time you can just pick yourself up and go to your own home so i really feel like there is some sort of a pattern in your uh, family that me you have been consciously or unconsciously uh, following uh, because it was really the norm in your family maybe uh, women have been repressed maybe men have been repressed maybe anything really that uh, like there is a common theme coming up uh, in terms of the relationships in uh, like your extended family members and there is a need for you to actually acknowledge that yes uh, this is that that was there their life but um, i'm making other choices that are going to be permitting me to live uh like a different life a life by my own norms so let's get some more cards accusation man yeah projection again there is some sort of a pattern that you are uh, almost uh, following for some of you 
uh, you know that for others it's something unconscious and maybe this reading is going to hopefully permit you to make a comparison or to just uh, look at how different your way of seeing relationships or maybe this idea that you have around relationships how it relates to some family members or maybe uh, like a close parent that you had or maybe um, like uh, I wanted to say a close friend that you had that uh, maybe had certain problems or certain ways of of, uh, connecting with others and maybe you have been doing certain things based not only on life circumstances but on the actual idea that you have around relationships maybe you have even uh, some sort of a resentment for um, like a specific gender because you have seen maybe uh, females being uh, like abused in your family or males again it really depends on uh, like your family and what kind of dynamics people were in but there was like some sort of of a common theme that is, is repeating when it comes to your family members. In here with this accusation, I'm hearing that uh, something that is very clear to me is that uh, maybe sometimes you even feel a little bit um, uh, like if you were to go for your own happiness, if you were to go for this dream kind of a relationship, you are almost um, betraying uh, people that haven't had this opportunity i feel like some people around you have been through some like a lot of hardships and you pursuing your happiness it's almost like you feel like you're gonna leave someone behind or there is going to be some sort of um uh, like you living the life that you want to live and other people being stuck in there in this way of being uh, but here, I, I really feel like um, there is a need for you to see the truth in it. Again, with this moon and this judge, there is a need for you to see the illusion in it or to see what's good, uh, what's right and what's um, not your responsibility and to go actually for the things that you want uh, without feeling this um, like. Uh, resistance into going for this relationship that you want to be in because you feel like people didn't have this opportunity or my parent uh, or one particular parent suffered or one person that I have known one gender whatever the case might be when it comes to your situation in here I really feel like there is going to be a brand new beginning when you're going to ag again allow yourself to flourish and allow yourself to be who you truly are Again, there is this emphasis on the house in here and the house that is in the building. So I really feel like certain things are already in motion for the both of you actually to meet. And in here, this egg has already cracked. So maybe you had some realizations. It could be through maybe uh, like uh, maybe you have had a reading or maybe if with some reader or you watched a pick a card reading or maybe you have seen some sort of or heard some sort of an information that allowed you to crack this egg open and to start living life in the way that you want to live it i really feel like this uh, phase is all about reviving hope and faith that uh, you are um, capable of uh, being in this relationship that is fulfilling that is harmonious even if it's unfortunately what it wasn't the case for some people that were around you and i really feel like this new beginning comes with love comes with uh, uh, an offer of love of someone that is going to be coming towards you but again uh, it, it is really going to be happening almost simultaneously during this period where you're going to be uh, willing to let go or trying to let go of certain things maybe that are uh, not to be around you anymore uh, there is going to be a meeting of someone really that is going to be um, uh, like something uh, I'm hearing something uh, again uh, with this cape in here with all those moons um, like this is a, a brand new energy this is something brand new and something really that that comes with uh, restoring hope with those uh, flowers I really feel like there is a great hope that is going to be restored and this particular person for some of you you had certain connections or you have been inclined into connecting with certain people maybe that had certain common traits i really feel like this person is very different they're coming with a brand new energy and they're going to be really um almost uh, complementing this new phase that you're going to be entering into um Let's see when it comes to the meeting. Anything really about the meeting, please? Temperance. 
Two of Swords. Three of Swords. So number two is very significant, as you can see in here with the temperance. The temperance is the card of mixing waters. And with those two cards, I feel like this connection uh, might happen online. So you might connect with this person in some sort of a group, some sort of... Um, uh, I'm hearing even forum or uh, online. With this Three of Swords, it could be that uh, around this time uh, when you're going to meet them, there's going to be great healing in your life, generally speaking, especially with those two cards. I really feel like you're going to be much more determined into dealing with certain things that uh, are a little bit... Um, like it might feel a bit uncomfortable, but uh, around this time when you're going to be working on yourself, working on this part of uh, how you perceive relationships, this relationship might happen and the connection might happen, as I have told you, online. Or you might connect uh, through some like texting. Uh, there is a, like an indication of um, uh, like some sort of a means of communication through which you're going to be meeting first. Let's get one more. Ten of Wands. So the Ten of Wands is also the card of movement. And this woman, it's almost like the more she's advancing in her journey, um, the more she's losing our, uh, like uh, those wands and getting the burden lightened out of uh, like out of her back so i really feel like uh, if you have some sort of a baggage it is coming again from uh, like some sort of family dynamics uh, this is the phase in which you're going to be willing to let go of any sort of um, uh, like resentment or uh, any sorts of negative uh, ideas that you have around relationships and uh, yeah th this is really the message that is coming up over and over again that is uh, emphasized uh, but again this uh, relationship it might be sparked just uh, out of a random conversation that you might have with someone someone might contact you or you might just start talking about something that uh, is, is interesting for the both of you and then afterwards uh, like things are going to develop so let's get some more cards again number six is very significant and number two so here uh, it's like it's uh, the month of june uh, 2026 or 2022 although there is just like one month left <laughs> in this uh, particular year but uh, who knows like uh, for it could be really it depends so let's see what it says it says enjoy your time and in here with this number two where is it it says things are going well now so with this number two i really feel like it's important for you to choose again it's right next to accusations to start choosing uh, the options or make the decisions that are good for you and not feel guilty of uh, like following the path towards your own happiness because you feel like you feel like other people might not have had this opportunity there is really a need for you to actually sit down for some of you even like start journaling if you feel inclined to do so write about those emotions write about why am i reluctant into going for uh, my own happiness for the things really that matter to me for some of you really you might feel like you have some sort of a duty to stay in some uh, like um like uh, generational um types of connections uh, but here again i would like to emphasize on the fact that you have the option to do uh, something else or to go for something else and the only thing that matters for you actually is to acknowledge it and to look for ways to um, let go of this particular resistance and again journaling and knowing the reason why in itself can unlock this particular resistance that we have towards the things that we desire and uh, like if you can start like writing about it if you have a question follow the answer if the answer is unclear ask another question and then follow this uh, curiosity to know where this resistance is coming from again it's it's it has a great connection to you feeling like you are betraying um 
other people's setbacks uh, for you because I really feel like uh, you can have you have great potential to be in a beautiful connection uh, but here you really need to deal with those uh, kind of uh, emotions or uh, thoughts that you have around relationships so again um, enjoy your time focus uh, your energy around your own enjoyment uh, this is very clear uh, the number six it's a very uh material number so uh, if you would like to take care of your uh, appearance don't feel reluctant into doing so this is not a message that is coming from your ego this is a message that is going to be allowing you to uh, restart your life in a way that you feel comfortable that you, in a way that you feel like this is who i am i want to be seen i want to be loved i want to be cherished and this is really the energy that is going to be permitting you also to meet this beautiful person all right, so that was your reading, my dear option number two. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Sending you lots of love, and I will connect with you next time. Bye. Hello, my dear option number three. So if you have chosen the third picture, where can guys see your reading? So how close are you from meeting your future spouse? Let's get some, let's get some cards. So we have here the King of Wands. Uh, I've heard that um, you need to keep in mind right now that in around this time, in this, uh, I'm hearing it's a matter of months or like one year, you are, you are right now in the midst of building an empire. In an empire, like sometimes we uh, relate it to money, to but this is I, I, like what I'm hearing is that there is something that you are doing that is going to be moving people. It's going to be allowing you to um, connect with people, maybe that share uh, some common interest or maybe some common um, desire or something that you want to change, something that you want to improve, something that you want to contribute into. I really feel like right now you are building an empire and this has a lot to do with an idea that you have or maybe a way of being. And uh, again, uh, this particular phase is very, very, very important in your life. And, and it's going to be allowing you to have some sort of uh, an opening to uh, a new world, to a new kind of um, field. Uh, for some of you might be writers, you might be advocates for some sort of, uh, even if you are not working uh, in, if you are in, not in the midst of maybe uh, this, like working towards maybe implementing some change or improvement, but this is happening right now. This is, uh, if you have an idea, if you have some sort of um, a desire to like go for something or uh, put certain ideas uh, like out uh, outside of your mind. I really have, uh, have this feeling that you have brilliant ideas. And right now you are in the midst of building something that is, uh, it's going to be followed by many, I'm hearing. A lot of people are going to be very curious to know more about you, more about where you're coming from, uh, what you are doing. The hangman. It's almost like something is brewing. Something is like, uh, it's almost like when you have um, like water that is starting to bubble and then uh, when it reaches some sort of a temperature, it, it, it starts bubbling very uh, loudly. Uh, this is really what I'm hearing. Something that is in the works right now. So if you are working on something or if you have an idea, uh, work on it, go uh, to the next steps, like follow the next steps, be um, persistent and give it a chance. Don't like you are right now the only one that can dismiss it because this is something that that is of great value to some sort of a group community. Uh, I really feel like uh, people might benefit from whatever the thing that you are going to be putting out there. So King of Wands, the Hanged Man, Queen of Cups. Three of Pentacles. Yeah, there is some sort of a project that you uh, 
are that you have in mind something that has a connection with being compassionate towards some sort of a group of people or maybe uh, certain ideas that need to be looked into or i'm hearing dissected uh, there is some sort of a project that you're going to be actually structuring and you're gonna meet one particular person through this project all right so this this person might be the middleman like the person that is going to be allowing you maybe to meet the right person like the right investor or maybe the right publisher or this could be someone that is going to be in the middle or this could be someone that is going to connect to you through this particular project or through this particular idea that's right i'm hearing structure and um Put your plan into action I, I really feel like with this hanged man this hanged man is giving me like the vibes of uh, um, you are not stuck absolutely not right now you are not stuck you are in a phase of putting your ideas um, into a plan like th there is this transition transition right now that is happening and even if in your life nothing really is changing nothing is shifting in the way that you want it to be uh, this is a great phase like this phase is very important for you to actually um almost seize the opportunity to take your ideas to the next level and again with this two of cups i really feel like this idea this project this book that you are writing or whatever the um like if you are aspiring into doing something at this particular moment that has a lot to do with um sharing a message um defending a cause uh, being there for people that uh they don't have anybody really to uh, have support uh, for some of you also that uh, maybe you are for some of you also with this queen of cups i'm hearing that you might want or maybe have a desire to write a children's book or um but the ideas in it or maybe some, it, it's gonna be like very innovative in a way something that goes outside of the the box so really follow this inspiration that you have at this particular moment uh, your love life if you feel like nothing is happening uh, your focus is needed elsewhere and if nothing is happening right now it doesn't mean that nothing is gonna happen because i feel like things are gonna happen but to each phase it's important like to each phase there is something that is highlighted and that needs uh, it's uh, all your efforts or maybe your focus and uh, with time things are going to be shifting towards maybe um like incorporating other things that you might desire as well so sometimes you feel like you want everything like right now but the reality of things is that uh, we need to go for the things or maybe we need to um, allow the flow of our energy to go into the things that need it the most at any phase or at any point in our lives and right now some sort of an idea that you have it really needs developing uh, some uh, it needs some time for, for you to actually focus on it uh, if you are uh, starting to write like uh, i'm really sending you a lot of courage and determination because i really feel like it's not only you a lot of people around you or a lot of people uh, in your community are really going to be benefiting from uh, this particular uh, like product that you're gonna put out there or like uh, if you are gonna be doing some uh, work maybe humani humanitarian work a lot of people are going to benefit from it all right so let's go back to this particular meeting i wanted to keep this two of cups here for some reason and let's see let's look into your meeting your meeting with your spouse please yeah possibilities choice decision it says in here the action of um destiny or a destined action i really feel like in here uh, again as you can see in here with this uh, on this path uh, this path is clear and this path is blurry so i really feel like when it comes to you um 
follow the um, decisions or maybe follow the um, uh, like some sort of an inclination that you might not find as a, like necessarily logic or necessarily that you're going to know what is going to happen or uh, there is no need for you to actually focus too much on the repercussions or how things are going to develop because in here with this destiny that's why i feel like this action that you're going to be um, initiating or maybe this project or uh, it really, it's going to depend on each and every one of you it's going to be something that um is encouraged there are a lot of birds and birds for me signify uh, spirit guides and angelic assistance uh, because it has some sort of a ripple effect on other people's circumstances it's really going to be something that um, i'm hearing certain things are going to be uh, uh, possible for you uh, without you even uh, like imagining or with your logical mind how things are going to be uh, developing in the future so the only thing that's matter in here with this number 44 is to structure this idea that you have and to move on to the next steps and things are even if at this particular moment you don't know how things are gonna be in the next step there is something that is gonna be clarified or illuminated and then when you go to this particular step like this is what i see it's almost like breadcrumbs again with those birds breadcrumbs towards how things are going to be ending up for you in the future so again in here with this destined action um i feel like uh, there is a like a, a connection with destiny and a connection also with this meeting being meant for you because it's going to be for your own best interest i'm hearing or something that is um, gonna help you maybe to get out of uh, some sort of uh, like circumstances i'm hearing uh, so it could be that maybe you're going to be meeting this person uh, like abroad in a like a, a different country or maybe in a place that uh, you don't even think about like at this particular moment that you're going to be able to be in in the future so uh, with those two cards i really feel like this th there is great significance or, or maybe a connection with faith uh, when it comes to your relationship let's get two cards birth love wow at the bottom of the deck we have projection i feel like you are meeting halfway when it comes to you if you feel like right now there is nothing happening uh like uh, uh, in here i know that with our 3d uh, perception uh, of um, our lives we give too much importance to time if you feel like you are wasting your time or time is slipping away or uh, if you are maybe comparing yourself uh, with people maybe that have uh, succeeded into doing certain things and you feel like i need to do it by this particular age or like in six months i need to be like in this place or doing this and that i really feel like at this particular moment focus on giving birth to this idea and not so much on how much time it's gonna take you because i really feel like the more uh, it's uh, with this train i really feel like this particular idea if you have a little bit of uh, trouble maybe putting it into motion don't feel like this particular um like difficulty it's gonna be uh, like there for the long run because it's like this train uh, like when it starts to move it's very slow it's like heavy but when it picks momentum it's like it goes up, like very fast so this is just the beginning the, the, like the beginning process might have like this density to it but in here with this time when you feel like nothing much really is happening around me to seize the opportunity actually to give birth to this idea and again there is a great connection with you starting to work on something and meeting this person so again this person could have if you are i'm just giving you an example and then 
uh, you're going to be actually applying it because for some of you, like for many of you, like this idea could be really anything. But again, uh, I just want to bring it back to something that is going to be of use or maybe of uh, like benefit to a specific community. Uh, I feel like with those two cards, this person, as an example, if you are a writer, this person could have a connection with a publisher, with an agent, with someone that maybe uh, if you're going to be having an agent in the future, someone that your agent is going to be introducing you to. So this is really like, uh, I feel like they go hand in hand. This is what I see. So let's get some timelines right now. Not yet. Let's see. When are you going to meet this person? Eleven, and uh, I think it's Thursday. Mm, yes, uh, it says sit down, follow your energy. Yeah, there is a need for this particular project actually to be uh, written, to be structured, and for you to start implementing the first logical steps that you see and start working on it towards like building the momentum for it to to uh like allow yourself to be more in in the flow so for uh, those of you that have an idea that you haven't started when it comes to again going back to the um example of being a writer if you have the idea and you haven't written anything it could be like just brainstorming or start from any kind of like it could be start from the middle start from the end whatever the case might be is to start uh, putting like actual material steps like putting words on uh, like uh, an actual document like start to write in something and then things are going to be much more easier for you in the future in here it says uh, here a friend uh, let me just um, make sure that it is the message where is it it says listen to friends I'm hearing in here because with this number 44 and number 11, I really feel like you have, uh, uh, like those inspirations might come also from uh, certain beings that are around you. So if you have an idea, don't dismiss it. Again, you are the only one that has the capacity to dismiss your ideas because they are of great value. And this is coming up over and over again in this reading. So in here with this, um, 11 11 i'm hearing uh, 2024 and also the month of may might be very significant this month of may might be significant in you maybe reaching some sort of um, a level of uh, clarity i'm hearing in here so it could be that you're going to be able to see the uh like next steps you're going to be able to actually uh, see what is in front of you see how you can uh, navigate this particular um, like project that you're going to initiate or for those of you that have already initiated I feel like the month for those of you as an example that have already written the book or that are about to finish it uh, in the, like for the month of May it could be that uh, you're going to have an opportunity to actually publish this book or uh, for it could be really um, uh, it depends on where you are at when it comes to the development of the project but uh, the month of May is very significant in you reaching some sort of a milestone or for you to actually get a great opportunity to publish uh, this particular project or to advance it to the next level. So again, uh, the, the uh, year 2024 is very significant when it comes to you meeting this person. Also, um, you might meet during the month of November. Uh, but in here, it's really like, um, again, with this action, destined action and number 1111, I really feel like destiny has a lot to do with um, uh, this uh, particular meeting because you're going to allow yourself to actually follow. I'm hearing follow uh, like your destined path, follow something really that you have been called into doing, into pursuing for quite some time. All right, so that was your reading, my dears. I'm wishing you all the best. Sending you lots of love, and I will connect with you next time. Bye.